Today, we're going to be looking at company groups. You can think of company groups as tags. They're an easy way to categorize clients so you can understand what type of client they are as well as what type of content they have the ability to see. To create a group, start by navigating over to Partner and all the way down to Settings. Company Groups is the first option under Configuration on the right-hand column. Let's click it. You can see I've already got a few different types of groups set up. If you wanted to add a brand new one, you'd click on Add at the top right. Again, if we're thinking of company groups as tags, you may want to tag them something simple so you can understand it right off the bat. A good example of this would be medical, accounting, legal, etc. based off of the genre of the client. Once you've created different groups that you're happy with, we're going to need to add clients to these groups. Still under Partner, navigate over to the Client portion. Adding in clients to groups is really easy. You can do it one by one simply by clicking on the client, clicking on edit at the top right, then navigating over to the group tab and dragging and dropping what type of group you'd like them to be in. Note that multiple different clients can be part of multiple groups, so you can experiment with tagging them as much as you'd like. Once you're happy, you would hit submit. Alternatively, you may have a lot of clients that you need to tag quickly. In that case, you'd hit the Edit All button at the top right. From here, you can select multiple clients just by taking them off. Then, you'd be able to click on the Groups button at the top and quickly add or remove them to groups as needed. Once you're happy, again, click Submit. Once you're all set, hit the Finish Edit button at the top to make those changes. You now understand how to create a group and add clients to them. Now, let's see how content populates to groups. Still under the Partner Portal, let's navigate over to Content. You can see I've already got a Dental HIPAA Information article pushed out specifically to the Healthcare Company group. If I click on it, and then click Settings at the top, and then hit Subscribers in the tab, you'll see that my All Smiles Dental Clinic my healthcare client, is already subscribed to it. This was automatically done because of the group it was in. However, I'll show you an example of how it will auto-populate based off of the grouping. Let's navigate back to content, and let's create a new helpful article. I'll click Add in the top right. The content type will be an article. The name will be Example. We'll leave everyone as the user groups and we'll only make it available to the healthcare group. Then we'll hit submit. The example is now here. I'm going to make an example article within this package just to populate it with some information. Once I'm happy with the content, I'll hit publish. My article is published. I'll navigate back to content, and I can see that my example already has one subscriber. Again, note that it's assigned only to the healthcare group. If I click on the example, hit settings, hit subscribers, you'll see that All Smiles Dental Clinic, the only one in the healthcare group, was automatically subscribed to it. In a nutshell, that's how company groups work.